Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So, you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So, please uh, reach out to us, and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE, and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, end all for it. Thank you. Is this one and pack, pack name, right? All of them pack name, right? So here I'll say, just understand this h1 and curly braces pack name i hope it's correct right and h1 look at this i embed that variable in the playbook it was interpolating interpolating use i'm using but if i replace that variable in my playbook i'm sorry the file used in the playbook okay so let's see if it is interpolation happened or not. So see the changes happen. Can we check this? See, not happen. All of you. So this is a problem here. So what we want, uh, we want to pass certain variable and the file used, <coughs> sorry, file used in the in the ansible should be interpolated so why you will say then let's say we have a mysql lots of mysql configuration apache configuration file tomcat configurations some different files also we want to change the entries of that file how do you do that because interpolation is not happening so that is where the template concept is coming and by the way template is not something new uh, every programming language is has been used okay so i will write here and simple template so template here in kubernetes i mean in ansible we use a jinga tool okay if you are a programming coming from the programming background then you must be having some idea about the templating so in template in python we use a jinga tool and ansible uses jinga tool only okay why? Because Ansible is also developed in Python. So we have a templating like a blade in PHP. Different language, different templating concept we have. Okay. So now this one uh, or this one. Let's go for this one. Okay. Latest. And here you have it. So look at this, some examples for it. So we can declare variable in playbook inventory and commands which can be introduced used and interpret only in the playbook task but not in the files used in the playbook solution is template so what to do in order to interpolate the file you have to do only two things you have to use the template module okay instead of if you want to interpolate the file you have to use the template module and the file which you are using for templating must be extension with jinga 2.j2 that's all okay so what i need to do is i need to uh, convert this file index.html to jinga 2 
so that's the first thing cp dot j2 that's all from j2 right j2 and then we have to use a module called template so if you see that here this is the module and i'm just copying it okay in my code bi web dot yaml at the end of it okay then, so the file name is index.html and it will go reside in this locations that's all so now the variable name is already declared on top so no need to worry anything save it run the playbook done and now if i see that file see this is done now if i see that file here see templating has happened understood all of you yes sir <clears throat> so so you can use this template to modify the configuration file for apache tomcat some mysql file or something like that whatever you need so that will automatically templating trans interpolation will happen okay so now that is also done so now next thing is handler so i will ask you to understand in this way so do let me know when let's say this is a what what kind of content this is static content uh, do you require restart for this uh, apache restart for this all of you all of you yes sir index html is needed no no no, no. i'm saying when you modify the static content of your application do you need apache restart no not required okay but when i modify the some configuration file for apache so here this is httpd.com think about it this is a configuration file and if i modify under the etc uh, new configurations you have let's say httpd something like this so don't you think so we have to restart apache to apache to be be effective correct now of course yes. so simple concept so now the problem is let's say um, this understand this one problem understand the problem so let me put this logic this code is not functional why because this is a httpd conf is up in sent to us not in ubuntu file name will be different location will be different so understand this flow now so here what is happening this is this require no restart of apache but this changes if there is a change in this file then require the restart so in that logic do you think that restart will happen ever all of you what do you think no so what you will say rajesh can you do the restart see understand that restart will not happen because you said started means this apache is already running it will skip it you might have seen that here see okay 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 okay, okay. <clears throat> here and this only changes were there changes so here this was that's id important functionality and so will you skip it so then you will say rajesh do one thing just put the state is restarted simple <laughs> there is a problem here you don't want the restart here changes are there then we want to restart but this time every time it will restart correct now yeah okay so the problem is how to deal with it in this kind of problem that is where the handler will help you so what handler will do let me come up with some example and see what is there in this page only you have a handler so if you see that here go down okay look at this here what is handled here you have so here you see that example 
this code you do not require restart but this changes you required the restart so here what you what you have done it so what you did this changes not required so here you say started only that means if apache is not running it will start but it will not restart but if there is a changes true in this then a handler is nothing but a task itself mind it what is handler handler is nothing but a task handler is nothing but a task but it will not execute it simply i repeat what you have seen is a task one task it's a section and you have a task it will not execute then you will say rajesh when it will execute so this this task will execute when the changes when you call it here you are calling it notify is a way to so this template you are calling notify this has to match name has to match okay so that means you are calling this task so remember that again i am repeating handler is a task which will not be running as usual but it will run only if you call plus one more condition if the calling task is true change is equal to true means if there is no change then why to call this one getting no point so remember that handler is a task which will be called which need which will execute only if you call this is the calling one and if only it will it will run if if it is true change is equal to true are you understanding okay simple so so, so now, you need to write handler for each task sir it's up to depends on a requirement wherever you have a restart requirement then you can oh. put all this task in the handler and call that if this is true then it will run okay. understood okay. okay so that is something which is called handler so now we understood about the playbook variables template handlers now last question which we have is what is role what is role so guys this is a very exciting topic you must focus so what if i tell you what if i tell you so far whatever i have i was trying to teach you ansible uh, for you to write a playbook uh, for your project and for your automation what if what if, if i tell you all this common playbook has been written already by community then how do you feel you don't have to write a code you need to understand that how do you feel it <laughs> all of you are you there no yes hmm. so you know what guys this kind of playbook generic one i'm talking about it already has been written actually it has been written and shared here in form of a rule what is the role i'll talk about it let's me give you ansible galaxy remember this what is this this is as a website what it contains it contain rules rules which has been written by community for you no thousands and see you have 4000 modules you have 5000 mod uh, rules actually a lot of rules has been written i don't have the numbers on this um, this one but when you search for it you'll get it some about and all you'll get it so let's say development role so what kind of role you need let's say any any one idea what kind of role so here you say java i want the playbook for java see so many so many roles people have written so now question is free code you can get it but we have not understand what is role that so first let's understand the role so again very simple definition right? not complicating a role is a is a way 
is a way to manage manage what manage tasks what is tasks anyone remember that yeah what is that number of tasks that uh, install apache play play task you have in play right task is a module right see here again i'll remind you playbook contains play play contain tasks tasks each task is nothing but a module correct now okay. and this is a this is a one module one call one task two task three task four task like that so here i i never said playbook don't get confused playbook you have more entries also like uh, this one and this one i said only task this is a task, a task. sorry so what is the role role is is a way to manage task variables templates handlers now when you say rajesh way means what so way means is a is a directory structure that's all to manage it's a directory structure okay so saying that here what a community is saying listen you write a code you write a task you write a variables you have a templates you have a handler task you have so many resources in order to run it what about if you want to share this one so maybe you are not following the good practices you are keeping the task file somewhere else var file somewhere else template somewhere else and handler somewhere else and this is a creating a trouble you know that you can work in your laptop but if you how can you share with other people so then they said community suggested let's do one thing let's create one directory structure and in that directory structure will keep all the task at one place all the variables at one place all the template files j2 files at one place all the handler task at one place and this directory which you can share so now people said what we call this then directory so this directory will be called role simple make sense hello yes sir so now the next question will ask rajesh okay so okay, if it is a directory structure tell me how do we create it so custom role community role also i'll show you that that was a galaxy option so how do we create a custom role so first i need a directory structure right so now let me create it so guys how do we create a directory you can create a manually also but i am not in a mood of creating manually it's irritating work actually so do we have any command for it and civil i forgot that command actually uh enter hyphen h and the command is a role in it okay got it so command is a role in it web web done see that here is a web you want to see the directory structure uh if it is guys look at it see see here understand that i told you is a directory structure look at this and try to understand so web is a directory file is a directory handler is a directory meta is a directory task is a directory is directory so now the question is where do you put the task you will keep it here simple task main dot yaml where do you keep it variables here simple main dot yaml where do you keep it templates in the templates directory all the jinja 2 will go to this where do you keep it a handler task where is that here it is if you have some ssh file or some other files you can keep it here here so this is also variable so here people will override the variable here but developers of the role can keep the variable here simple all the test scenarios here you have are you understanding all of you yes simple so not, nothing great about it so what to do so let me create a uh, uh, let me more web 
in the grammar. Let me copy this whole thing and put it up here and clear the screen. Now tree. So what is the variable? This is the variable. Where it will go? Vars. The vars. No, no, web now. Web vars main dot yaml and just uh, please uh, understand the yaml specification it will save your time done variables is in variable file where is the task so let me copy whole task here and take it to vi web tasks and what task and then main dot yaml right? Here, yeah. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Uh, done. All the tasks are done. And then, what is this? So, what else? Do you have any uh, template? Yes, I have a template. Uh, MD uh, index dot html dot gen dot two gen dot gen dot two two should go to the web. Um, uh, templates what is going uh, templates and move it I moved it okay do you have any files yes index.html is there no? so move index.html to uh, web and files and done do you have any handler task handler task here I don't have any handler task in this code but you can have it also okay so this way now my role is ready you see that here this is my role and it's ready whatever i code it so now the next question you'll ask okay how do we call the role then so here what you you taught me you taught me how to call the task but how do we call the role so nothing great about it skeleton here host uh, it's a web group and here instead of uh, variables here uh, instead of task sorry instead of task i will have a roles enter the roles where is the roles so use that uh, use the space okay never use tab One, two, three, four. roles what is the role name web that's all this guy will call the role called web so can i do that so typically when you call the role that file name you keep it site.yaml okay mind it site.yaml that's the naming convention you can use it any way whatever you want done and now the command you know that how to call site.yaml so playbook hyphen i hyphen i inventory and site.yaml enter done so easy did you find any difficulties all of you no okay then the good news is i said yes if you know the role playbook all this stuff then after knowing that you don't have to write a code so what to do so here you come search for your role okay this is a community role and download it so let's say i look for java look at the download and rating and all you can look at this feedback and all so this is a good i know that girling guy who, who's writing the production ready rules okay so this you can use it so click on it see the number of download rating is also good and look at the last modified four days ago see all this thing you can do that so you should read about this whole documentation don't rush this is for the linux all the variant you see not for windows okay and this guy is managing from nine years in prestation working in the same company okay so here how do we download the roles copy this install this done where is the role Look at this. This is the default location for the role. Users default location. I what I did. This is my custom location. But all the roles will be in the default locations here. 
you have a system location also for the roles okay so right now not complicating too much so i downloaded the name of the roles is this one so see that i have not even write we have a single line of code for installing java and what i am going to do downloaded it and using it that's all save it and run the ansible and java will be installed now so simple right what do you think see now it's being installed girling guy so you have not written even one line of code just downloaded it and use it and just you have to make sure that rating is good and download are good and also so guys did you understand that all of you if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact@devopschool.com at or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching